Dr. Vincent Isegbe says that government was making commitments to the International Year of Plant Health because there was need to adopt a forward-looking plant health policy and massively invest in the upgrade and expansion of the health infrastructure. Isegbe noted that governments at all levels in the country need upscale budgetary allocation to building plant health infrastructure so that efforts towards revitalizing agriculture would be realistic. He added that this call for investment in plant health in Nigeria is not a plea that should be mere tokenism, as tokenism will do little or nothing because plant health is a capital-intensive affair. From pests and diseases, and that has caused colossal loss in terms of uh, food availability as much as 50% loss. So we are using, or the international community, precisely the FAO, is using this opportunity to draw attention to the fact that we must necessarily sensitize ourselves to plant health so that we can have enough food to eat. The director of plant quarantine department also threw more light on treats of plant pests and disease has been escapitated by transborder trade as they are bore by the envelopes of infected fruits, crops, seeds, and packaging containers. In the course of presentation, I told you here we do enforcement. While other countries do voluntary compliance, do not take the seed or crop that is compromised from your country to another. Just do a simple thing. As the competent authority, they have the power to satisfy your commodity for you. They will give, they will advise you to assess the uh, international trade. But if people smuggle, I carry uh, maize, I carry uh, Ogbono, without inspection. Each country has an obligation to another under IPPC to protect the agricultural economy of that country. These stakeholders believe they need much more than the traditional miserly, miserly allocations to plant health to reposition the plant health care system. Anietie Patrick, reporting for Clearview Television.